Ashley again. I'm still here with the Faded. I actually wanted to find out a little bit more information about you guys. Um, just being an electronics convention, I wanted to find out what are your guys' favorite electronic devices that you carry with you at all times. We can start with, I guess, the singer again, Mr. Gene Blaylock. My Blackberry. I can your Blackberry? Awesome. Yeah, so I've got... Uh, you know, my contacts and phone numbers and stuff like that, web access. Some of the bandmates have told me that's, that's your primary uh, way of contacting everyone. Exactly, so yeah, this is uh, my favorite piece, but I also have a, you know, I bring my iPod with me and my laptop pretty much everywhere, but as far as digital things, I mean, our, like I said, our, our amps are, Steve and I both use Line 6 stuff, which is completely... Line 6, the stuff right there? Yeah, digital modeling, which, um, you know, my guitar is Line 6 as well, so it's just complete digital technology from the point it goes into the, the amp through an ethernet cable to right. the actual speakers the first time you're actually getting the audio. So wait, there were amps before there were ethernet cables. How does that all tie in? I don't understand exactly. I mean, because I've heard ethernet related to computers. Well, traditionally you had a guitar and you had an analog cable that went into an amp and the right. signal was transmitted analog. But then the Line 6 stuff, my, my guitar is a digital guitar and it emulates other guitars. It transfers that data via ethernet cable to the uh, the heads, which then are digitally replicating other amps, and so the first time you get any traditional oh. analog sound is when it actually comes out of the speakers. That sounds really awesome. See, I, I had no idea that they were even using computer cords and amps now. How about you, Scott, the drummer? Uh, um, what is your favorite electronic, or a couple of your favorite electronic devices that you carry around at all times? Uh, well, that I have at all times, I don't really have much, I admit it. I have my cell phone. Pretty much the main electronic thing I even use now is the drum set over there. It's a rolling... You have an electronic weapon. drum set? Now, how does that work? Um, it's a good question. I actually am using it from Gene. I, huh? There, there's transducers, I hear. <laughs> Our synth player is telling me there's lots of transducers involved. Um, assuming that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. See, I've only ever pl heard you play real drums. I, I think these are just flat panels. But they sound like real drums when I'm down there. Yeah, it's actually, it does work out pretty well because we have them all set to specific sounds. So you can do pretty much whatever you want with them. I'm thinking of integrating them with a live kit. Too. But I heard you're also pretty handy with the uh, PlayStation and the Xbox. Am I wrong? I, I do love the PlayStation and Xbox. The 360 is amazing. I can't deny it. So you're an Xbox man over PlayStation? Um, so far, but you never know. The, the new systems might be different. Right. Okay, how about you, the bassist, Sean Stamp? Um, well, I have my cell phone. Uh, <laughs> when I'm uh, stuck in the car for long periods of time, PSP is always good. I love to play. While you're driving? Um, preferably no. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> um, let's see, uh, uh, I've got a digital effects in my uh, rack for my amp. Um, uh, when it comes to recording, we're using uh, a lot of Pro Tools. Uh, so uh, digital recording has really changed the music industry in a lot of ways. Um, um, yeah, portable DVD players, you get some to watch when you're bored, you know. Right. <laughs> Actually, X2Gen downstairs is carrying these portable D DVD players at a lower price than everyone else I heard. So we should all pick those up before we leave. Um, you've had a little bit more time to think about your answer. I'm sorry, Steve, who is the guitarist of the band. Um, what is your favorite electronic device that you normally carry with you or have at home? Well, uh, the first thing and most importantly is my pacemaker because without that I would not be able to carry much else around. But other than that, I'm, I'm very fond of my Moto Razor and uh, Ooh, the when, new when, I don't, when I don't lose it because it's really small. But then I have the, the Bluetooth as well because I tend to get in car accidents a lot if I don't use that. Um, aside from that, obviously my iPod Mini is a... So the car accidents resulted in the pacemaker or was it... The pacemaker stopped working because the phone interfered with the pacemaker. So then when the pacemaker stopped working, I got into the car accident, and the guy's like, if you keep this farther away from you and just use this, the pacemaker won't interfere. <laughs> and after that, I mean, so it all kind of goes together. I hear you. I understand. Congenital heart failure. Anyway. Um, <laughs> um, aside from that, the iPod Mini is extremely important to me, and also... Um, I enjoy amateur photography, so I take my digital camera on tour a lot. So let me ask the whole band a question before I get to Brian about his favorite electronic devices. Um, are we saying iPod over MP3? Unanimously? iPod. 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 Apple. Everyone? Apple iPods? Yeah. I don't know. I saw a new MP4 player I might pick up for myself downstairs. But, Brian. Oh, no, no, no. One more question for Steven. Sorry. What is this? And why do you guys all have these weird plugs in your ears? Mm. 
That is a Sure in-ear monitor system that our fabulous sponsors X2 Gen have provided for us. It enables us to hear everything that we're doing, plus things that no, the audience can't hear in our ears, um, so that we don't have to rely on. What does the audience not hear? They don't hear uh, what's called the click track, which is a metronome track that keeps all of us in time, so that we sound like extremely talented musicians. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all you guys live when you oh, yeah. play. Yeah. It's 100% you guys. Oh, it's 100% us. It just enables us all to stay on the same page. So you guys all have one of these things. You all have them in your ears, and you can't hear anyone screaming for you like all the fans have been. You basically just hear each other in a click. Well, that is interesting. How about you, Brian? What is your favorite electronic device? Um, let's see, in a half-assed attempt to reproduce the bridge of the Enterprise in my car, I installed a Windows PC in the dashboard. Um, now, is that safe for driving, Brian? Absolutely not. I have <laughs> had probably three near misses and, like, almost killing myself, but outside of that... Yeah. You're going to end up with a pacemaker like your bandmate Steve here. No, going to have to be careful, really. See, I see in front of you the trio, I which is... Trio. Is that yeah. the competitor for the Blackberry, or how do those work? It, it, it really is. It's, um... And my battery is almost dead, but... Great Jedi Knights, enough Jedi Knights. Um, <laughs> use the full, um, so, yeah, anyways, I like the trio. I mean, it's cool for being able to, like, cruise the internet, and, you know, there's a way to, like, do it under T-Mobile for free, but, anyways. T-Mobile for free, you say? Go on. Um, well, at least getting, like, access to the websites just changed to a different proxy. You look it up on the net. I'm gonna I don't know what a proxy is, but I'm going to take your word. I'm serious. Um, you know, but anyways, it's, it's really, really great to be able to have access to the Internet, you know, like, whenever you're, like, looking for a restaurant or anything like that, you can just, like, pull it right up on the net. Of course, you do it while you're pulled over on the side of the road, not while you're driving. Because I never want to be stuck behind you. Right. Um, again, I want to bring it back to Gene, the lead singer and head of the band. Hold on one second. Um, so, Gene, is there anything else you'd like to say about the convention or electronics altogether? Well, basically, what we're doing here would not be possible in traditional analog senses of, of, of recording. I mean, without huge PAs and just thousands and thousands and thousands of more dollars worth of, uh, of things happening here, the digital technology and the way it, it's revolutionized not only the music industry, but conventions in general. It was what makes this possible for us to be here, able to play and transmit digitally over video signals over the monitors and stuff, as well as the audio portion of it. Otherwise, traditional senses, we would not be able to pull off what we pulled off this week, so. It's funny, I sit here, and I've been to a lot of rock shows, and I see those big things in front of the stage that kind of hold you back from the audience, but you guys don't seem to have those. Does that have to do with your new audio equipment? Exactly, the in-ears let us get rid of the front stage monitors and we hear everything in the ear, but it also, like, the way it's just transmitted from up where we're performing to the front of the audience and the video that they're seeing out front and stuff, it's all, it's all possible simply because of digital technology, which, you know, 10 years ago wouldn't have been possible. Well, it's incredible that X2Gen decided to supply those. One more thing, I just wanted to ask Sean Stamps one more question about his electronic needs and likes. Hold on one second. All I wanted to say is probably the most useful digital tool uh, for us as a band is the website. So if you get a chance, please check out www.thefaded.com and also everyone else's favorite website, MySpace. Go to myspace.com slash thefaded. Again, I'm Ashley reporting to you live from CES, and I've just been talking with The Faded, courtesy of X2Gen. Thank you.